a couple of weeks ago I bought my ideal adventure van. This is a 2008 Ford Transit. It's all kitted out, ready to go. And so in this video, I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour. Let's go check it out. This bed is so high, it's like a significant high step climbing move to get up. <laughs> Okay, so up front in the cab, we have three seats. I love this cab. It, it kind of feels like driving a truck, but it is still really, really nice to drive. One of the things that I love most about it though, is that it has an insane amount of cup holders. I mean like one, two, three, four, and the same on the other side. I'm obsessed with cup holders. There is a running theme with this van is that there is an incredible amount of storage and that is the same up the front here so there's a huge glove box another glove box and then another one up the front here it's manual it's very nice and easy to drive i like this armrest feels very comfortable on the road okay let's have a look inside so i bought this van as it is I really didn't want to build my own van. I don't have time to get into the whole building of vans. So I wanted to just buy a van that was pretty much good to go. And that's what I found with this van. So what I was just sitting on here is uh, our fridge. This is from Cool. In Australia, we would call it an Esky. In New Zealand, we would call it a Chili Bin. There is a couple of bricks inside. So when I'm at home, I just freeze those in the freezer and that will keep everything inside this cooler cold for like six or seven days which means i don't have to have a fridge it also means that i can move this around easily like this will become my seat it's also my step to get up in the bed one thing that is a little interesting about this van is that it has a little uh dog house i don't have a dog but the previous owners built this and right now it's just basically a seat and a house for my insulation for the windows so these are made to fit for the Ford Transit in the front it keeps the heat in pretty well and adds a little bit of an extra insulative property to the van eventually I'll I'll get rid of this and I'll have a swivel seat here which will really open up the space so we've got a bit of a partition it's just a, a sheet between the cab and the house part of the van that's just on velcro so if I want to get some more light in the van I can pull that back we do have running water and a sink. So when we take that section out, there is a sink here with an electric pump. It's a little switch on the side there. And we've got 20 liters of fresh water there and another 20 liters or so of gray water. You'll notice that we have a huge gas bottle here. At the moment, I am using this gas as our heating system just by turning the stove on which is definitely not the safest thing but it's at the moment it's the only way to heat the van when we're out the ski field so that's the kitchen we've got loads of storage up here as an australian you probably heard about vegemite this is promite this is the real stuff absolutely have to have that down here i've got a chopping board and I've got a three burner gas stove here. So to get the gas going, I've just got to pull this tube out, thread it through the bench. So I've got more than enough gas and I've got three gas cookers, which is more than I have in my own apartment. At the bottom here, we kind of have like a bit of a makeshift pantry with food. I've just got olive oil, lentils, chickpeas, tea, coffee. So enough to keep me going for a couple of days when I'm out in the mountains. This is uh, a work in progress. The previous owner had thought about installing a table here and had kind of started. So I'm imagining, you know, a table that will kind of fold out here in two sections. And that way I can have a dinner table. I can have a table to work at. So that's one of the little projects that I'm working on. Under the bed storage, I've got two little cabinets up the top here this one's just full of like tents sleeping mats all that kind of stuff 
And over here is generally where I put my laptop or my cameras or my electronic stuff. This bottom section here is designed to actually flip out as a bench seat, but I really don't foresee myself using that much now that I have this fridge because that will act as an extra seat. As far as lighting, we've got a very bright kitchen light there and a whole series of LEDs here which light up the van really well. <laughs> we've got a skylight here or a vent that we can open up to have a little bit of extra fresh air and some more light. There's a little spice rack here with a few bits and pieces. Up in this section here I've got coffee, uh, I've got my little Bluetooth speaker. Another thing that I love that doesn't have to be connected to the house battery and then can be charged by USB is I've got a blender so I can make smoothies and this will charge off a USB. An insane luxury to have in a van. So that's been great. That stays up there. In this cupboard, this is kind of where I have all my kitchen stuff. There's pots, pans, strainer, spatula, a very old jet boil. A couple of these old enamel cups that I used to have in my old van in Australia. So these have come all the way with me from Australia. There is just like too much space for all this stuff, way more space than I need. But I've only had this fan for about three weeks, so I imagine over time I'm gonna be filling it out with more and more stuff. I don't know if you can tell through the video, but this bed is tiny. <laughs> I can fit, I can stretch out head to toe with my feet here and my head way up this end. Uh, I'm very warm and very comfortable in here by myself. With two people, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a squeeze. I love the pine wood. I, I love lying in bed and just like looking at these notches in the pine. It gives it a beautiful feeling. And that was probably one of my major priorities for the van. I wanted to have something that felt like a little mountain cabin. Essentially, like what I wanted to create is a bit of a base canopy in the mountains. I wanted it to feel like home. So a big part of that is the, is the wood lining around the inside of the van. Another big storage area in the van is up here. This is just clothes storage. I've got a couple of backpacks up there. So, a down jacket, got a couple of hooks here for tea towels and a hook where I keep my keys. And on the inside here, there is a line of Velcro here where I can add a mosquito net when it comes to summer and when I keep the bugs out. This window on the outside, that can open up. So if I need to let some fresh air in or if I need to poke my head out and check the snow conditions, I can do that. That's my only out from the inside of the van other than opening this big door, obviously. Behind here is my electrical system. There's no 240 volt, it's only 12 volt, so like a cigarette lighter plug-in socket. To be out for a longer period of time, I'm gonna need to plug into a 240 volt. So I'm gonna get like a Jackery, like an external battery with a, a solar system that I can put out on a sunny day. I'll do a whole separate video about that and a couple of other upcoming changes that I'll make over the next few months with the van. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts of the van. This is really what sealed the deal for me. This is the, the garage. It's where I store all my camping, hiking, climbing gear. Probably one of the most important things is that I've got this bunker block on the outside because I've got thousands of dollars worth of equipment. <laughs> so these two doors open up. I can actually uh, put a curtain rail and have like an outdoor camp shower here. It's the middle of winter, so I've got my skis. I only really just kind of fit and I've got to really squeeze them in. Ski poles. This is like a snow brush, which comes in handy when I've been camping at a ski field and it's recently snowed and the van gets covered in snow, so I can brush that all off. The top here is my boot storage. So I've got my ski boots, my mountaineering boots, my hiking boots, it's the straight mountaineering axe, and my other two technical axes. I, uh, I would like to spend a little bit more time and organize this stuff a little bit better. So in this drawer, I've got harnesses, and in this one's my ski stuff, and then my ski goggles, and warm ski gloves. So all that stuff kind of sits in there. It's perfectly usable the way it is. It's very comfortable the way it is. I didn't have to work on it. It was already perfect the way I bought it, but it's just got a couple of those little projects to make the van more mine. I think a lot of people, when they're building a van, they really want to create the van that's perfect for them. But 
I wanted to kind of have you know a base to work from I wanted to spend more time in it and really find out what I want to change what I want to personalize to me but up until now you know every trip that I've taken out in the mountains I've either taken a train or I've gone with a friend or a climbing partner and just having this van is going to open up a whole world of opportunities for me to be able to go out into the mountains for three four days or a couple of weeks at a time and just bulk film a whole bunch of YouTube videos and get out and have some crazy adventures here in the Pyrenees. But I moved here to Spain about three and a half years ago and I moved here really without having any job opportunities or any kind of future other than this YouTube channel and the business that I built in Australia which was a face-to-face -face personal training business for mountain sports. So I, t I did take a lot of risks coming here and I think this van is a, a big representation of everything having worked out like pretty well. AdRev essentially paid for this van. So I want to thank you for watching and I wanted to show you the plaque that YouTube sent me for getting to 100,000 subscribers. I'm, uh, I'm super excited to, to receive that from YouTube and I wanted to share that with you. I've had two or three trips in it, just ski trips and ski mountaineering trips. Those videos will be out in the next couple of weeks and I'll leave them here when they're done. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the van tour and I'll keep you updated with any changes I make in the future. I'll see you on the summit.